Hello, Harry Potter fans. Peter Kenneth here. Welcome back to the Potter Collector Channel, where we are a community of collectors. Today, we have the pleasure of looking at a brand new, the newest Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone slash Philosopher's Stone edition. And it was illustrated and created by none other than Mina Lima, who, if you don't know, did all of the graphic design on the Harry Potter films. They also designed many of the props like Ravenclaw's Diadem, Slughorn's Hourglass, the Time Turner. So that in itself should give you an idea about what to expect in this book that was illustrated. And again, I'll say designed because there are some special and fun little interactive things that Mirafora Mina and Eduardo Lima, Mina Lima, have put into this special edition. Here it is right here. We are about to do an entire flip through and detailed look at this beautiful book. So when I ordered this, I did not know what to expect. When they announced it, I didn't know what to expect. And when I received it, I was blown away just by the outside of the book itself. It's a cloth binding. It has like a, a coating on it, but it looks like a, an actual cloth binding. There is gold foil all over the front cover. Look at how shiny and sparkly that book is. The artwork is fantastic. And the back is also beautiful. A lot of this artwork is imprinted into the book. And then the spine, look at how gorgeous that spine is. Now, the first thing that I thought of when I saw this artwork, Mina Lima could have gone in a direction movie related, but they chose to do their own spin on the Harry Potter story, what Hogwarts looks like, what characters look like. You guys are in for a real treat because when I opened this up yesterday, I saw scenes that I've never seen illustrated before, characters that have never been illustrated before. So there is some fun stuff in this book. And as I mentioned, we are going to do a full flip through. But let's take a look at the front cover first. Each of the corners represents a different house. So we have Gryffindor here, Ravenclaw on this corner here, Slytherin, and then Hufflepuff. So we have a badger. And then there are some magical relics or things that we see in Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone or the Sorcerer's Stone. And again, everything is just beautifully framed in this castle-like surround. But the real fun is on the inside. Now I posted a speed through on Instagram and one of you asked, is this book something that is more of a collectible piece or is it a book that has thicker paper so it will wear well and you know go through multiple readings? I would say both. The, the paper is very thick. Each page is very thick. I mean, look at the text block here. This is a big, thick book, and Philosopher's Stone, Sorcerer's Stone, is not a huge book. So the thickness of each page is fantastic. It's going to last you a long time. For me, this is going on the bookshelf. This is a collectible, but it can be either way. It can be a reading book or a collectible book. Books like this and the illustrated editions from Jim K will really enhance the reading experience for new Harry Potter fans. Okay, you're probably thinking, Peter, Stop talking and open up the book. I agree. As we go along, I'm going to flip through some of the pages fairly quickly because this is a big book and this video will be very long if I don't do that. Now let's first take a look at the copyright page. It is a first printing, as you can see here, the number line there. And this is the Scholastic version. So this is the American edition, basically. It's Sorcerer's Stone. You can purchase a Philosopher's Stone copy. Same story, everything's the same except for where Philosopher's Stone is mentioned. Those were published by Bloomsbury. And there are also quite a few translations available and there are more copies of this book being translated so definitely keep an eye out for that if you haven't seen your language represented in this book just yet all right so then there are chapters and chapter one the boy who lived shows Hagrid, McGonagall, and Dumbledore at number four Privet Drive and then there is baby Harry one of the things I love is the light shining through the stained glass of the window and you see it reflected on the ground right there in front of the three wizards. Hagrid Spike is there or Sirius Black Spike is there. We now see that the Dark Lord has been vanquished and there are witches and wizards throughout the streets celebrating. Aunt Petunia, Uncle Vernon. This is a gorgeous illustration. As you guys know, I love Dumbledore. And this is Dumbledore arriving at Privet Drive. Here is the first interactive item. This is Dumbledore's pocket watch and you can actually interact with it. So if we open it up, you can move the hands, 
You can move the different dials and they reveal different things depending on where you land. Absolutely beautiful and fun and just, again, interactive. More celebration, which is happening all over the world. The vanishing glass. Now this green smoke and Hagrid on the motorbike is Harry's dream. So in the second chapter, there's mention of Harry saying, I had a dream that there was a flying motorcycle and then Uncle Vernon, you know, lashes out at him. But that's a very cool piece of illustration to, to visualize. There's Harry waking up on Dudley's birthday. All of Dudley's presents. Mrs. Fig, which we rarely see in illustration form. And all of her cats. Here is the zoo. And we see Harry there in the corner and he is talking to the boa constrictor. Another dream sequence, which is, again, really a, a beautiful thing to illustrate. All right, here we have chapter three and Harry's on the table, trying to catch one of his letters. Some mail has arrived, including a letter for Harry. This shows the layout of Four Privet Drive, which is really fun. There's Uncle Vernon in a sleeping bag, waiting for the letters to arrive coming out of the egg, coming out of the fireplace. And then here we have Hagrid's arrival on Harry's birthday. And we have Hagrid presenting a birthday cake to Harry. And one of the things I like is that it says happy birthday. It's spelled correctly. In the movies, they spelled it a little bit differently, but in the books, it's spelled correctly. All right, this is our next interactive piece and it is a letter for Harry. And you fold it down, you open up the wax seal and open up Harry's Hogwarts letter, which is written out. It has all of his equipment list, absolutely beautifully presented. I mean, the way the paper is cut is stunning as well. Now you guys are kind of getting a sense of why this book is so special and what I meant about the interactive things within this fantastic edition. We have Hagrid telling Harry about Voldemort, Dudley sprouting a pigtail. This is the next morning. And here we are, chapter five, Diagon Alley, and it shows the brick wall opening up behind the leaky cauldron. Harry and Hagrid on the tube. Our next interactive piece, and I just have to show you guys like this because it, it opens up really wide. But here is the book. And as you can see, the wall parts and splits. And then when you open it up, it reveals all of Diagon Alley. Is that not incredible? I mean, it's like a pop-up book and not a pop-up book. There's so many beautiful features here. Florissant Blotz is on here, Madame Malkins. I mean, there is so much detail on these different shops, including a look inside of Gringotts. I mean, it, absolutely beautiful, beautiful, beautiful artwork here. Gringotts and Harry's very full 687 vault. Here are some more shops. I see Ollivander's, Flourish and Bots, The Leaky Cauldron, and Madame Malkins. And as you're seeing as I flip through the pages, each page has something special on it, even if it's just a little piece of decoration. I mean, here we have Harry's Hogwarts Express ticket, and that leads us into chapter six, the journey from platform nine and three quarters, which shows the Hogwarts Express. Harry doing some studying, King's Cross, the Weasley family, I love how the train track kind of just slides down the side of the page, the trolley witch just stopped by, 
Here we have Neville and Hermione arriving and meeting Harry and Ron. I love the pointed hat that Malfoy is wearing. But see what I mean where Mina Lima is taking their imagination and putting it into these books. You would think that their imagination would be just stuffed with the film visuals, but they've gone somewhere else in their brains and created a totally new Harry Potter world that none of us have seen before. And that's one of the things I love about this is that nothing looks like it came from the movies. Here is that magical scene of the first view of Hogwarts, the boats waiting for the students to cross the Black Lake. Absolutely stunning. Here's chapter seven, the sorting hat, and we see the Great Hall and the sorting ceremony. Professor McGonagall and a sea of first year students in their hats. The Hogwarts ghosts. A very elaborate sorting hat. A delicious looking feast, minus the broccoli and cauliflower. Here is our next interactive piece, and it is the portrait of the fat lady. And if you pull on a little piece of her frame, her eyes move back and forth. And then when you open up the frame, it reveals the Gryffindor common room. Here we are at chapter eight, the potions master. Harry and Ron looking quite stressed in their first potion lesson. Staircases. Professor Quirrell, which we don't see illustrated very often. Professor Snape. Poor, poor Neville. Our next interactive piece, we see Hagrid's hut down there. And Hogwarts Castle folds down and opens up to reveal the insides of the castle as well as the Hogwarts grounds. The Midnight Duel, Chapter 9, and this is the reveal of Fluffy, Hagrid's three-headed dog. Harry and Draco's big confrontation. We have Peeves there. And this is when the fat lady was not in her portrait. Fluffy, the three-headed dog. Here we have chapter 10, which is Halloween, and we see Professor Flitwick in his charms class. Beautiful portrait of Hogwarts here, and Harry with his Nimbus 2000 going for a flight. The troll scene, very famous troll scene. Chapter 11, Quidditch. Madam Hooch blowing her whistle. Potter for President banner. His friends and Hagrid are cheering him on for his first Quidditch match, which is right there. Visiting Hagrid. Chapter 12, The Mirror of Erised. It is now Christmas time. The Weasley twins charming snowballs to attack Professor Quirrell's turban, which as we know, they're really just throwing snowballs at Voldemort. Wizard's chess and Christmas morning, which shows Harry's Mrs. Weasley sweater. Percy's sweater. Here's our next interactive piece. The top folds down an empty great hall turns into a very festive great hall, including a feast. Here we have Harry's view of the Mirror of Erised, the night that Dumbledore was there with him. Chapter 13, Nicholas Flamel. There is Albus Dumbledore's chocolate frog card. Quidditch pitch, which shows Dumbledore highlighted in the crowd, so Harry knew that he was safe that match. This shows Harry on his broomstick after following Professor Quirrell and Professor Snape into the Forbidden Forest. Here we have chapter 14, Norbert, the Norwegian Ridgeback, and we see the dragon egg in the fire there. And there's baby Norbert. Professor McGonagall and Draco. This is 
is when Harry and Hermione were bringing Norbert to the top of the astronomy tower so that Charlie could come take him back to Romania to live in a colony. The Forbidden Forest, Chapter 15. This is a beautiful illustration which shows Draco and Harry and Fang finding the creature that has killed all of the unicorns, and we see the unicorn blood splattered throughout the forest floor. Chapter 16, through the trap door, we see Sleeping Fluffy. This looks like a transfiguration final. Hogwarts Castle. Professor Snape. Petrificus Totalis. Devil's Snare is deadly fun, but will sulk in the sun. Catching the flying keys, trying to unlock the door. And our next interactive item is this chessboard. Folds open and pops up. Look at this. But what's really cool is it's two-sided. So if you look from the back, you see Harry and Hermione and Ron all in the invisibility cloak. Absolutely fantastic. Harry is about to move forward and Hermione is giving him a hug. And chapter 17, the final chapter, the man with two faces. We see Professor Quirrell standing in front of the mirror of Erised. Our next interactive item is this turban, which reveals a snake-like man's face underneath it, which is Voldemort. This, I think, is my favorite illustration out of all of the illustrations in this book, and it shows Dumbledore and Harry in the hospital wing. Look at that stained glass window behind it. It's absolutely stunning. And the final illustration of the book is the Great Hall in Slytherin colors, but as you can see, the banners are turning into Gryffindor banners. Some information about J.K. Rowling as well as Mina Lima. And that is it. Now do you see why everyone is freaking out about this book? I mean, this is the most interactive and possibly the most illustrated Harry Potter edition that we've seen, even if we include the illustrated editions by Jim Kay. This book is packed full of illustrations and those interactive items just make it all the more magical. What are your thoughts? Leave a comment down below. Let me know, is this something that you have already collected? Are you going to collect a copy for yourself now? These also make great gifts. I mean, this is a really special looking book, even just on the outside. And then when you open it up, it's like, holy cow, what is this thing? Especially with the holiday season coming, I think this is going to be gifted a whole lot. Now, Mina Lima has hinted that they are doing all seven books. It's not officially been confirmed, but they have hinted enough to confirm that they will be doing the rest of the series, which is very, very exciting. Check the description down below for information on how you can order this book for yourself, as well as links to add it to your collection. And if you have any questions about Harry Potter or collecting, please leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram at the Potter Collector, or on Twitter at Potter Collector. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. You can subscribe right up here. You can also look at some previously posted content down here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or collecting, please feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help. But for now, I must go. See you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?